A feedback page allows you to solicit feedback from your supporters. In this video, we'll cover how to create and customize a feedback page. Create a feedback page. To create a feedback page, go to Website, Website Name, and Add New Page. First, give a name to your page. A slug will auto-populate based on the name, though you can change it if you wish. Select Feedback as the page type. Decide whether to include it in the Top Nav or Supporter Nav. Finally, click the Create Page button. Feedback Page Settings. Next, you'll be able to edit settings under Feedback Settings Basics. You'll have the option of creating a label for the feedback box. You must also include a label for the Submit button. For example, if you're collecting stories from your community, you should label the button Share Your Story. Click Save Settings to save your changes. Under Feedback Settings, Intro, you can provide introductory text, explaining why you'd like the community to leave feedback. As with other content editors, you can include images by clicking on the Insert Edit Image button to add them to your page. You can embed content from the web by entering the URL for the content on its own line in the Content Editor. When you click the Save Intro Text button, content from the web that is found via Nation Builder's Embedly integration will be previewed below the Intro Text box. By default, people who leave feedback will receive an auto-response email. You can stop people from receiving these emails under Feedback Settings, Auto-Response, by checking the box next to Automatically Send Person Leaving Feedback an Email. You can also change the broadcaster who sends the messages. The primary broadcaster for your website is set here by default. You can edit the subject line and the body of the auto email as well. If you made any changes to the auto response, click the Save Auto Response Email button to save. Remember that, like other pages on your website, you can add page tags to a feedback page from Settings, Page Settings. You probably want to keep the Show Stream box checked so that people who choose to leave feedback publicly can do so. Leaving the Allow Comments box unchecked is a best practice so that people aren't confused whether to leave feedback in the feedback box or in the comments section. You can also update the default Facebook post or tweet prompt from Settings, Social Media. You can preview how the page will display by going to Preview. You can publish the page by clicking the Publish button located at the top of the page. You can also publish by editing the page status at Settings, Page Settings, and select Publish from the Status drop-down menu. Receiving Feedback By default, the feedback people leave for you will appear in the Dashboard section of the page within your control panel. You can see what people have submitted by clicking Show More underneath the name of the person who left feedback. If you would prefer to receive feedback by email, you can set up email notifications for this page. The new feedback email notification will include the contents of the feedback submitted, as well as a direct link to the person's profile in your nation. You can follow up with a person directly within your nation by sending them a one-to-one -one email. 